Hey Alphas, welcome back to the verse. Von Clutch here, and I'm putting together a little tutorial on how to create some wealth from a brand new patch. 3.0.1 just dropped, and uh, we're reset. Back to pleb mode. 5000 Alpha UEC. So, we're going to go on a uh, quick cargo run and uh, talk about some uh, pro tips that will help you guys along the way. So with the new patch, we have no money, aside from the 5,000 starting credits. And then we have no armor, we have no bling, we have no weapons, no ship upgrades. So we gotta earn all that stuff back. So here's the thing. We could start off and invest some of our 5,000 right off the bat into uh, maybe a rifle, some extra mags, some oxygen, uh, med pens, things like that. However, if we do that, it's going to cut into our ability to flip our credits into cargo and then into more credits, right? So what we're looking to do is snowball our money by investing zero into ourselves in the beginning, take off, go from one armistice zone here at Port Olisar to another armistice zone. We're going to head over to Daymar and hit up uh, Shubin. Now, Daymar is a straight shot from here, and uh, so we can really minimize the risk, right? So we are going to go from one armistice to another. However, if there is that little element of danger that could happen uh, between here and there or on the way back, right? Now, we're going to want to hit hyper as fast as we can and uh, kind of minimize our time that we are left vulnerable. And the reason that I don't want to buy any rifles or oxygen or anything like that is because it's not going to really help me on this type of run. Later on, I could definitely see, you know, I want to stack all this and go do more exciting, more dangerous runs. But in the beginning, uh, let's just go take it easy, right? Minimize our chances of uh, some kind of foul play befalling us and uh, just make our cash, get out, get home. Do a couple of these runs, snowball your money a few times, then go buy some armor and weapons and start going out uh, and doing a little more exciting missions. Now, though we are minimizing the risk, there still is some risk, right? There could be pirates out there. I could crash my ship. I've done it plenty of times. The server could crash, right? It's an alpha. Set it to give us a better user experience, right? So, I never want to invest all of my money into one cargo run. Because here's the thing if you do, the server crashes, or I crash my ship, or it glitches, or some pirate ganks me as soon as I come out of a hyper. Now there's interdiction, they could pull me out of quantum. I still want to call it hyper. I'm sorry, I can't call it quantum. <laughs> I'll try. Um, quantum means time. Anyway, so never spend all your money on one run. So if you start with 5,000, I'd recommend doing 2,000 to begin with. Okay, so if you start with a 2,000 uh, Alpha UEC run, uh, we'd buy something that we can get a little better than 2 to 1 ratio on. Go in and buy something uh, for 2, come back, sell it for a little over 4. That'll get us on the right track. And like I said, mitigating uh, risk. And the orbital markers get us closer. So like I was saying, never invest all your money on one run. Start with 5,000. Let's go with about 2,000. So if all hell breaks loose and we don't make it back to port and we lose our cargo, still have 3,000 left. Then we could do another 2,000 credit run. And if that magically goes south again, pirates attack, pulled out of uh, quantum, something, then at least you still have 1,000. So you could go do a very small cargo run and then a little bigger one, right? And you can get back to your 5,000. But at least that now gives you three tries uh, without going broke. 
three tries is especially helpful if you're a brand new player, right? just about where we need to be to start our descent. You know, CIG wanted to balance realism with, let's say, the attention span of gamers. So, we always have a few minutes as we uh, descend into the atmosphere. But that gives us some time to set up our key bindings, for example. So, on a previous flight, I uh, took the time, went, and set some key bindings. One of the nice things they've set up is under the uh, key bindings, you can set up hotkeys for your uh, game modes like this, right? So you can do salute, attention, uh, you can do wave, you can greet somebody, which is kind of a scary greet. Like a point, tell them to get over here. Stop, that could come in handy. Or the rude. Definitely comes in handy uh, in this game when you run into pirates. Alright, so here's where you go, right? Go to key bindings. Down here's your social emotes. And you can see that you can uh, bind these actually with tap or double tap. So select it, hit Y, it'll add double tap there. Hit Y again if you don't want it to be a double tap. Double left click, bind it, and there you go. Also on your number pad, you've got four, five, six, one, two, and three. So five is to tell your team to go forward. Two tells them to stop. One is to the left, three is to the right. Four is confirm, like agree, and uh, six is negative. So that'll help. If you're in a uh, silent combat situation pinned down somewhere. You know, as the game develops, we'll have a lot more things to do in flight like this. But for now, it gives us a chance to kind of go through and set up the key bindings. I'll tell you, though, with the Delta Patcher, now that we can get these little micro patches and we don't have to uninstall and completely reinstall the game every single time, it makes it great because then you can set your key bindings and forget about it. Just memorize them, learn it. You're not having to rebind your keys, uh, you know, every time content drops. So, great job, CIG. We dig the Delta Patcher. You know, this is a good time to familiarize yourself with all of your ship's controls. Go ahead and zoom in here so we can interact with this. And uh, you see, you see that your this is your power management. Okay, and you can redirect power to weapons, to your shields, to your engines. However, it only matters when you're damaged, right? So let's say that you are damaged and you can't put out as much power as you need. Well, that's when you re redirect the power. But right now with all systems online, we're good to go. Got our comms over there on the left. Um, here you got your shields. You can control those with uh, five to number pad five resets your shield configuration, eight front shields, two back shields, four and six left and right. You can hit the menu and change the uh, the controls. I'm sorry, the uh, the panels. You can change them, customize them for whatever you'd like. Uh, since mine was redundant, I just decided to go ahead and put comms on here twice. I can request landing from either side.
Now, right here on that course adjustment, I noticed them it overcorrected pretty hardcore. So one thing that you can do if you're experiencing this is go into your uh, game settings, go over to controls, scroll down, way down, just grab it and drag it down, and then you'll see all the slide bars. When you see those, you'll know you're there. Look for mouse sensitivity in flight. Then we're going to crank that down, see if that helps. All right, let's try this out. That's better. Get a little... Uh, I crank you down a little too far. Wow, yeah. Okay, so it's almost impossible to freeload and look at things in the, uh, in the cockpit. Sensitivity too low. But for flight, it's pretty good. Yeah, I could work with this. The free look, however, that's got to change. All right, let's go back in and uh, fix that free look sensitivity because that was brutal. sensitivity on the flight. And there we go. That should be pretty good for the uh, free load. Oh yeah. That's a nice. A molto bene. Alright. Let's go ahead and land. Looks like somebody's already down there. Let's see one quote friendly down there. I guess we'll see. And I am not a fan of these night approaches. I have lost many a wing to mountains near Kudra or Yeah, and you'll want to start spamming S, because it'll creep up on you quickly. Landing gear down. Landing gear always works as great air brakes. Don't forget to completely kill the thrust. And then once I get close, I always just use my thrusters. Number two and number three, right above W and E, not number pad. That's your thrusters. It'll just give you a quick thrust and then it'll stop. A lot safer. Notice that I turned on the headlights on my cutty. Whatever it says the key binding is, uh, when it shows the map, doesn't seem to be right. So make sure you go and rebind your. Uh, your lights for your ship because they come in handy and if you're left-handed you probably are rebinding the entire keyboard anyway so hey I'm looking at you Uncle Fester to be honest I'm feeling a little leery about that other cutlass that's here so I'm gonna check and see if anybody's hiding now, I know it's an armistice zone, but still, people can throw shade just about anywhere, wouldn't you say? Hmm, looks clear so far. Now, sometimes, just for fun, I like to go into the wrong buildings, but this is not it. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward. And 
I'm thinking that we need to fly the cutty over closer to the actual vendor. with the flashlight. You never know. Alright, now let's go move closer. But, I don't know, I'm having a bad feeling about this, so I think we need to be cautious. Looks like we got our doors locked, so that's good. Default is locked. Engines. So, I'm going to turn on my headlights, find a nice little dark spot over here in the corner to, to land in. Just be careful, do not land on rocks. Oh my lord. I've landed on quite a few rocks and uh, I was not unable to get back in my ship. So just be real careful. Before you get out, make sure that you're completely level. And then we're going to kill the engines but leave the power on. Right, turn off the headlights. I want this to kind of disappear into the darkness a little bit. And uh, let me see what, if anybody's around here. Just curious, maybe somebody with a sniper rifle on the hill just outside. I'm not sure how far the armistice zone goes, but I'm not really wanting to learn tonight. So, let's see. All right. Somehow I have a crime stat already. Hmm. Wondering if uh, there's something that shows notifications saying you've racked up some crime stats. So if you're wondering how to work chat um, F12, then hit enter. Right? So you have to hit F12, otherwise it's not going to show you your chat, even if you hit enter, unlike other games. Then, you can use the right alt, which for you planet-side players, it was left alt, but on this time, it's 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 right alt. And that's your uh, cursor mode, right? So if you ever get that cursor that gets stuck like that and you can't move, right alt. So, here I dig around looking to see if I could find anything telling me when I got that crime stat, but probably just landed without permission somewhere. Alright. Here we go. Let's check and uh, see if there's anybody out here hiding. I have had a guy one time who climbed on board. He was in an armistice zone, so he couldn't shoot me. But he just would not get off of my ship. So we waited and waited and waited. It was in uh, one of my org mates and I and we finally gave up and we took off the second we got outside of the armistice zone he shot me in the back of the head and then my org mate killed him and took my ship so I had to respawn and file an insurance claim alright so we're good here so the uh, looks like that does touch the ground we'll be able to get back in alright good ass in here. That is the wrong building. Don't go in there, Von Clutch. Don't go in there. Fast forward. Alright, here we are. Kill that cutty. He's in it. The lights are on, power's on. 
And we know he's not in here because of the airlock. All right, well, let's do our business. And GTFO. Claire. All right, so this is what I like to get, Corundum. You can buy them here for two. You can take it back to Olisar and sell it for a little more than four. Man, I just don't know how much to get. I am wary of this guy outside, man. I just... I'm afraid as soon as we take off, he might... He might just chase after us and just... Right outside the weapon lock zone. Light us up. So... I do just under two, just under two k. Just yeah, just in case. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, we're committed. He's still out there. Anywhere else, this is where I usually pull my rifle out. Right here. Tap the button. Rifle time. But we're in a weapons log, so. Let's just sprint. All as we don't have any armor on. We don't have to worry about heart attacks. Oh! Knew it. I had a bad feeling. I knew it. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Open, 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 open. What's going on? What's going on? Oh! He's getting lit up. It's him that's getting lit up. The tables are turned. Close the door. Insert profanity. Shit. Man, this is exactly what I was afraid of. Oh, we got a boogie, we got a boogie, we got a boogie. Okay, stay calm under pressure. What are we gonna do? We gotta think about this. As soon as we take off, get out of the armistice zone. We may get lit up. I have an idea. Remember I hid in the darkness? Head for the darkness. Now I know he's up above us on our three somewhere. But uh, I killed the lights. Maybe, just maybe, we can sneak away. Under the cover of night. I think he finished off that cutty. Man, crazy turn of events. So the uh, the suspicious cutty turned out to be a decoy, and the real perpetrator was actually hovering above us in the sky the entire time. Pirates failed in the darkness. <sighs> yeah, coming after my cargo. Creates gameplay. I need a gunner. Alright, let's go ahead and skip ahead a bit right before we jump. I'm starting to think I might have turned off stealth mode just a little early. Probably should have waited until I was back at Olisar. Oh, there he is! There he is! Did you see that? He just flashed across the left side of the screen. He's on our radar. Alright, we gotta get out of here. Hit it, Chewie! that. That was intense! You know, if I had a gunner, or if I, I don't know, even had 20k Alpha UEC, that probably wouldn't have been that intense. But, uh, hey, we made it out. Alright, time to go land and uh, turn this stuff in, make some money, right? 
We're safe here as long as I don't crash it. completely off, just relying solely on thrusters. I need a request landing. Oh yeah, ship's console. Here we go. Old habits of using the Moby. Alright. Now you won't know what land, what landing pad you're supposed to be on unless you have your landing gear down, by the way. Took me a minute to figure out when I was a noob. So, somehow... Huh. There's somebody on this pad that isn't supposed to be there. They probably took a crime stat landing there. Huh. Well, now it makes sense why they give you a crime stat for it. Because then the uh, the system doesn't really know that that pad's taken and it tries to assign it to somebody else. Interesting. Alright, let's see if we can both squeeze on here. Until that Avenger group's reworked this summer, we might be able to squeeze on. Yeah, the Avenger is getting a big rework. I'm sure you guys have seen some videos. It's getting a lot. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. It's a great value for a ship. Fifty bucks donation. And, uh, you get a huge ship with a bed, so you can log out once persistence uh, is fully complete. All right, let's just kill. Can't. Something feels funny. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't want to risk it. I don't want to lose all my cargo after all that. About my ship falling off the landing pad. So this dude's gonna have to try to figure out how to get out of here if he's still online. Yeah, he can use his reverse thrusters. Man, the Cuddy's so much bigger than the Avenger. I've seen the new Avenger rework, and it's probably pretty close to the size of my Cuddy. I guess we'll find out. I believe it's in 3.1. I think is when the landing pads get larger. As the Reclaimer and all these giant ships come out, they gotta increase all the landing pads. Cargo's still there. I don't see any stowaways. They probably would have popped us by now anyway. Don't wanna go that other way. Fall right off the pad. So we'll take the safe route. One side door drops us off the pad, the other side door, eh, right on top of somebody's Avenger. He may be able to scale his Avenger and climb in the side door, so. I'm using the back ramp. Ah, if I can hit that door. It's been my bane tonight. There we go. All sealed up. Man, I kind of wanted an Avenger. Let's go ahead and uh, triple time it to the console. All right, here we go. Time to vendor our wares. Sell max. Yes. Give me all the monies. Yes. All of the monies. I've got it. So there we go, guys. Just increased our wealth. So you'll see your Alpha UEC count right up here. Some men are born alphas. Others become one. And chicks dig them. Independent. Ambitious. Classy with a touch of crass. Have a network, get paid, afford luxury, live like a sir. 
Hey, you think you have what it takes to be an alpha? Become a 1099 contractor. Work for yourself. Main org, affiliate, either way. Enrollment's open for 18 and up. All professions. Alpha Citizen Escort Service. You can visit us on the RSI website. Just click the link in the banner. And if you've enjoyed these tips or tricks or the video, go ahead and leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe. And hey, maybe I'll see you around the verse.